This question says, a car starts from rest and travels for 9 seconds with a uniform acceleration of 1.9 meters per second squared. The driver then applies the brakes, causing a uniform acceleration of negative 1 meters per second squared. If the brakes are applied for 3 seconds, determine each of the following. First, how fast is the car going at the end of the braking period? And second, how far has the car gone altogether? So here's what happens. We have a car that's going, that's zero, and it speeds up for nine seconds, and then it slows down for three seconds. So this is my velocity, this is my time. We want to know what this velocity is right here at this point, and we want to know what the area is under that, under this curve to know the total total distance traveled. So uh, in order to do this we need to first find our final our, our, our final velocity. So we know that the acceleration was 1.9 meters per second squared. And the formula for acceleration is V final minus V initial divided by change in time. So my V final I don't know, but my V initial was zero and my change in time was 9 seconds. And I know that my acceleration was 1.9 meters per second squared. So I can times both sides by 9. And when I do 1.9 times 9, I get 17.1. So the VF minus 0, so VF equals 17.1 meters per second. So this is 17.1 and on the velocity. The next thing I need to figure out uh, is um, if it decelerated at a constant rate, um, what's the new the, the new uh, speed at the end of that? So it decelerated at one meter per second. So I know that my um, my formula for acceleration is my V final, which I don't know at this point for this. I don't. This is my V final. I'm taking 17.1 as my new V initial, so that I can find um, create the acceleration for this. So acceleration equals V final minus whoops, minus V initial divided by change in time. My V initial is 17.1. So 17.1. My change in time is 3 seconds and my acceleration is negative 1 meters per second squared. So if I times that by 3, negative 3 equals something minus 17.1. So add 17.1 to that, I get my final velocity, my, my final velocity number 2 is 14.1 meters per second. And so, 14.1 um, meters per second, so here's what happened. I have a car, it speeds up until it gets to 17, bad 17, 17.1 uh, meters per second. Then it starts slowing down until it gets to 14.1 meters per second. And it does all of that, um, and this time period is 9 seconds, this one's 12 seconds. So I need to find the area under the curve to oh, so the, the first part of that is that's that's the uh, speed that it, it stopped at that's the speed where it finally um, ended the braking period it's 14.1 meters per second so it continued to go that that fast for the rest of its time driving but I need to know how far it drove to get to that point so what I can do is I can um, create a triangle there a rectangle here and a triangle over here. So I have two triangles and a rectangle. I know that my uh, my first triangle has a height of 17.1, a base of 9, and we divide that by 2 and we get the area under here. My second triangle has a, a height of 3, a base of 3, and we divide that by 2 to get the area in there. And then finally, my, my rectangle has a height of 14, length or a length times width, a length of 14, a width of 3, and multiply that together 
to get that di that distance. So um, 17.1 times 9 divided by 2 is 76.95 plus my 3 times 3 is 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 plus my 14 times 3 uh, it's actually 14.1 times 3 um, equals 42.3 you add all of that up and you get um, your total distance traveled is 123.75 meters.